So the question is, how does one beat a pusher in tennis? First of all, a pusher has nothing to do with drug use. It's just uh, someone who plays very steady, plays very safe, often has good feet. He can get to a lot of balls and just push the ball back to the other side of the net. He's playing a very high percentage, very low risk game, and he's waiting for Joe Perez to beat himself. And I okay. will do that. So what happens <laughs> is he challenges your patience the tendency would be for Joe to start hitting a little harder, to try to end the point sooner, to take a little bit more risk. And if he's playing at a point where he's not totally confident, the only errors we're seeing are Joe's errors. Because unless he's hitting a winner, that pusher just keeps pushing that ball back one more time. And, and the frustrating thing, Kirk, is that the pusher rarely hits anything hard. Like you said, he plays safe. So I'm missing easy shots in my book. They're easy shots. The ball's just sitting there. I should be putting it away, and I get nervous, or I'm frustrated and angry, and I start overhitting the ball. I'm making all kinds of errors, and the pusher is just licking his chops, happy as a clam that I'm pulling my hair out because I can't beat this guy who's just pushing the ball over the net. Right. You feel like your tennis game just went down three levels, but the, there are ways to attack that pusher. Typically, the pusher doesn't like coming to the net. So one of the ways we're going to beat the pusher is bring him to the net, either hitting drop shots or short stuff. And when we're not bringing him to the net, we are coming to the net. All right, so we have to change the rhythm of it. The pusher is used to moving side to side. We have to make the pusher feel like the length of the court is an albatross for him. So we're going to drag him up. If he comes to that, we're going to make him hit that volley because he probably doesn't have one. All right, so the last bit of advice to beat that pusher is when you come to the net, prior to playing that match with the pusher, practice your overhead because he's going to throw the ball up in the air when you show up at the net. That's right. And so what Kirk generally just described also is that you want to, what I call, hit through a pusher. If you develop your aggressive offensive game, you bring the person up and then you pass them or lob them with an offensive lob because they're probably going to run back an easy lob because they can run very fast. So try to hit through a pusher. That's another way to beat a pusher, okay? But in any case, you're going to have to execute, you're going to have to be steady, and you're going to have to be ready for a battle because a pusher is going to get everything back. And the final thing with that pusher is move your feet. He's hitting it softly. You have time to get into great position for most of the balls because he's not hitting fast. So if you can get in good position, you can take a comfortable, aggressive swing without being out of control. Right, so that's how you beat a pusher.